My area of research connects three branches of theoretical physics, relativity, quantum theory, and information theory. Let me tell you how and why. Do you remember the landing of the Mars rover last August? It was streamed live in the internet. It wasn't quite live, though. When we received the signal that the rover was beginning to enter the atmosphere, it had already landed. How come? It took the rover's radio signals, traveling at the speed of light, still seven minutes to reach Earth. Einstein realized that this delay can never be avoided because nothing can travel faster than light. This also affects high-speed computers. If a computer is to run at 3 gigahertz, currents have to crisscross inside and between processes 3 billion times per second. So the chips need to be closer than 10 centimeters to each other because the currents cannot go faster than light. So we see that Einstein's theory has a big impact on information processing. Now, how do quantum theory and information theory connect? If we zoom in into a computer, we see that it's built from lots and lots of atoms. Atoms are ruled by the crazy phenomena of quantum theory. Did you know that quantum particles can be in two places at the same time? Quantum particles of light, photons, can even pop into existence out of nowhere for a short time and vanish again. By controlling single atoms, we can use those quantum effects for information processing. Lots of dedicated researchers right here in this building work on technologies that lead to powerful quantum computers or can make communication completely safe from eavesdropping attacks. Finally, the link between quantum theory and relativity is missing. This is the biggest open problem in theoretical physics today. We don't have a unified theory yet which describes both relativistic and quantum effects. The idea behind my research is to study their interplay using information theory as a link. Let's assume we have only two atoms which we want to use for messaging by sending photons from one to the other over large distances. In this very basic model of communication, we can watch both quantum and relativistic effects at work. The questions are challenging. If photons can pop up from nowhere, how do you distinguish a message from noise? Other effects, like atoms being in two places at the same time, have the potential to enhance communication, though. Trying to tame these fascinating phenomena will not only teach us about fundamental physics, but also, I hope, enable us to have them work for us in future technology. Thank you.